Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Royal Farms Arena. It's time to get to business. We have six matchups, as we always do, and we're starting off tonight with um, the Black Label Society's uh, outsider getting another match this week, as it seems that uh, Ben Frame, the owner or the leader, is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Ben from New York, weighing in at 259 pounds, the Outsider. And the Outsider coming to the ring, and, and ladies and gentlemen, listen to me when I tell you, um, I feel like the Outsider, um, he's a former world champion, and so is Ben Frame, and I think that's why Ben is kind of clinging to him and brought him into the society um, but he's trying to get him some wind under his belt right now the black label society as a whole have been struggling this season there is maybe seven wins amongst them when we have individuals who have seven wins and i'm talking about trevor hannibal and um what, what oh wait hold on hold on i know this music i know this music that is Omega Man from OPW. Ken Washington and Isaac and Justice were doing some work, but um, what is that in front of Yo? From Allentown, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 187 pounds, Omega Man. Uh, I think Omega Man let himself go. Um, um. I mean, I know that he's a little bummed that OPW had to close down where Ken was once the world champion there. Uh, I don't... <laughs> uh, I wonder if Ken... Nope, nope, because Ken's standing next to me now and just took his glasses off and is looking down at the ring like he just saw um, something... Like, what the hell is... Are those... Are those bloomers? Like, what the... F what is he wearing? You know, I um, uh, I don't, I don't judge. Pe I don't. I mean, the people are excited to see him. It looks like, but they're also confused because I don't remember Omega Man ever having that kind of um, pudge hanging out in front of him. Um, I don't, I don't. I'm just, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna see how this goes. I don't. Uh, yeah, he's out of shape. Um, I hope that he did some sort of training before he stepped in there because, um, as, you <laughs> as you can tell, we go the outsider versus Omega Man. Omega Man not looking himself. Uh, the doors of NHW have, or not NHW, but OPW have closed. And I don't think Omega Man knows how to take it, to be honest with you. And now I'm just catching hands. Oh, yeah, there goes the outsider. Oh, God, just ran him over with the clothesline. Ooh, kick to the gut. Oh, God, big forearm to the back. And Omega Man not looking his best at the moment as he gets tossed out the way. Oh, my Lord. Um, someone help him. Damn! He had to hit him like that. <laughs> oh, he gets a little momentum back. Throws him over the top rope. And looks like he is going for a ride. The DDT on the apron. Good lord. And Omega Man thought that he was going to uh, get some momentum there, but not at all. Mm. As the outsider is going for... Oh my god, it dumps him down on his back with that suplex. And now, lifts him up. Big Samoan drop there, Jesus. And we're at the count of six here, he needs to get in the ring. Throws Omega Man into the ring. Ooh. Wee! Oh, dumps him. Oh, oh, he stunned him there. And that's the second time he's tried to go for that. 
And it did not work. And outsider going to the top. Bricked it. There was no water in the pool. Omega Man, poor guy, is getting hammered, though. I don't think he's really gotten any offense in this whole match. Oh, my Lord. Something's got to be done here. Like, I... <laughs> Oh, God. And, I mean, oh, reversal. Throwing knees. Now he's trying to throw hands. Oh, able to get a couple moves in there. Now working on the elbow. He was mad, but <laughs> I don't know how much shape he's in to, like, Make this happen. And he is really feeling it now. Going to the top rope. Oh, he hit the elbow drop. Into the pin. One. Only on one count. Good God. He now lifts up the outsider. Shoots him over and the big knee connects. Lifts him up again. Uh oh. Outsider catches him. And look at the power as he drops him down. And Ben is really liking that on the outside. And there it is. He hit him with the. But he's not going to pin him? Alright. Oh, now he goes for the pin. After you step on his arm one more time. Cool. Uh only a two count. That spin cycle didn't do enough to put him away. Now he's just going to stomp him out. And now he is stalking his prey. Waiting to catch him. And there he is up and down hard with the flatliner into the pin. One, two, three. And the outsider has gotten him another win. Mega Man unfortunately drops down to 0 and 1. Man, I <laughs> I don't even know what to say. And he puts his hand out to him. And Omega Man showing the respect for the outsider. And match two here on the card. From the Royal Farms Arena in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, we have coming to the ring. This is Franco Ricci with his wife this time. Haley is coming to the ring the with him. The contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Accompanied by Halle Ricci from Rome, Italy. Weighing in at 225 pounds, Franco, Madman, Richie. And the thing about it is, this is a former mob boss turned wrestler. I guess the uh, the weight of the world, you know what I'm saying? It came to him. Um, <laughs> it came at him. Um, I, will I mean, he's only been in a couple matches so far. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I would not have him correctly where he's supposed to be, which is fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, <laughs> but what isn't fine is the fact that uh, I did that. And uh, Jesus, I'm just having a moment. Don't mind me at all. <sighs> there we go. All right. Now he's where he's supposed to be. I had everybody in order by name, and for some reason, he was <clears throat> not under order by name. Anyway, he, uh, former mob boss, been to jail a couple times, turned his violence to wrestling, and um, was unsuccessful in his first matchup, first two matchups, I believe. So now he's going to face a former champion here in NHW, see if he can't get on the board of this man right here. Uh, Furious Frank, uh, 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 excuse me, 
Furious Frank has had a decent season. I mean, he hasn't been all over our screen, but when he is there, he has made a uh, an impact. Um, so far, he was unable to reclaim what once he had in the television championship. Um, so we'll have to see what uh, what he's gonna do from here if he's able to get this victory. So we have one from Canada and one from Rome. Multicultural over here. Um, but yeah, no, we'll have to uh, we'll have to definitely see uh, which one of these two is going to get on the board and start their ascend. Um, there, there's a lot, a lot happening all at one time. We still got Cody and Mamato uh, trying to go after uh, the current world champion. Um, we have the new the new team of uh, the Pacific Savages just sliding into action. Uh, they were able to take out the Thorns of Execution, uh, which Cody Yamamoto is a part of. Like we, we're, there's a lot, a lot happening here, and um, it it is what it is. Uh, we'll have to see what happens with that as um, a member, a representative from both, will be uh, facing each other later. And here goes, Fra oh, Franco and Frank, and Frank tried to. Tried to grab a hold of him, and he just started throwing hands. He's like, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Oh, man, in the jeans. Oh, no, those are the He's wrestling in the slacks. And now the clubbing blows to the chest. Just firing Frank's chest up. He might have stopped his heart and then restarted it a couple times. Many times he hit by Frank. Oh, no. Um... Sir, mm. introduced him hard, and ooh, on the knee. I'm oh, gonna continue the assault to the knee. Frank's not able to, hasn't been able to get much offense in so far. And he gets tossed back into the ring. Franco back on him in the slacks, onto the top rope, and a big elbow drop to the spine. Just showing off for his wife out there into the pin. One, two, only a two count. We continue on. And Frank really needs to get some control here. I mean, I know he's been uh, dealing with his promotion the right world, but you can't. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Big DDT, but you can't let that uh that run you out if you're trying to be a uh, a top man here. Ooh. And now going up, spinning into the suplex. Well done. Uh, oh, okay. Kicks in like that. And now dropping those forearms. Hammer shots everywhere. Frank was able to hit him with that DDT. But was oh, no, 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 no. No, no. He just stomped on his arm. And he does it again. I really thought he'd be going for a cutter when he does. <laughs> I really do. I'd be like, yo, he about to hit him with a cutter. I've never seen Frank do a cutter. And he hits him with that DDT. I'm just like, oh. But the madman just got busted open by Frank as he goes to the top rope. And found no water in the pool when he went for that. Ooh. He put the bottom of them work boots on him. Frank is a long way across the ring. Yeah, that was a good idea. Oh, now he's in a boxing defensive. Mm, now he's got to eat the feet. And Frank trying to really make it bleed, you know, get some blood in that eye so he can get back on uh, the offensive and, you know, take him out. Hell, because if you can't see, what's point in fighting? I'm sorry, what the hell just happened? I looked away for a second. I didn't hear the ref count. And I see he's back up into that arm bar. I'm not sure if he's done enough damage to the arm, but he can do some pretty good damage to the arm. And now feeling himself as Frank is back on the attack. Uh, well, he was. And now he's about to make his shoulder blades click in the back. 
hate that move, but it is very effective if you were trying to take your opponent out. He is biting, sir. And the crowd is chanting, break his fingers. They're great. Oh, spine on the pine with that big spine buster. One, two, only a two count. And he is stalking his play. Frank might be in trouble here. Ooh, kick to the gut. Double under hooks are in. Um, spikes him. Two, three, and uh, I'm... I'm I hate to say it like this, but I'd say mercifully it's over. I mean, he took some he took some offense, but Frank was not really able. Like Franco was determined today that victory was his and no one else's. Even though Frank was able to bust him open and you know, continued with the punches, I really was trying to work over that face, uh, except for when he went for the arm. Well, you can look at the blood right there and see that, you know. Oh, he really didn't get a one count. Wow. Uh, spine on the pine there. Big old spine buster was unable to get the three count and then just destroyed him there. With that double underhook DDT. And the three count was inevitable. Jesus. Madman Richie. Congratulations, good sir. Holy hell. Congratulations as we get on to the next matchup. And now that we know who attacked. What the hell? Okay. The um, contest is a tornado tag team match. On the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 542 pounds. Okay, so something that ticks me off with this game more than anything else. If you have more than three people in a stable, it will give them whatever the f entrance it wants to. This is not the entrance for Black Excellence at all, because if I was to use Kyrie and Jacob, they would come out totally different and there would be no music. With that in mind, there is Derek Wolf and Bishop Stone, and now it screwed up those two. Uh, and here you have the Ego Power Showtime and Stephen Sugar Hill. Um, we found out, or as you can see, based off the clothes, we knew, or we now know, that the person who knocked them all over the head with a chair was Derek Wolf, uh, a close friend of QP. And um, yeah, we're going to see what happens there. What happens when Derek Wolf gets his opportunity and the ego powers and there's a time limit in the corner where there shouldn't be? Screw it. You see it. We're here now. Let's get it. And oh, oh, wait. Hold on. Whoa. We got one that got turned inside out and Derek Wolf is showing his strength against the former world champion. A little bit of a capture suplex. I'm going to shoot him over, go for the pin. I do not think so. As Bishop's getting just carried. And into the pin. Shouldn't have been taunting. Ooh. Shot to the mouth. And now taking him for a stroll. At least I think he is. There he is. Big power bomb there from Showtime. And Stefan is getting uh, handled a little bit by Mr. Wolf. Oh, you went for the punches, but you're talking to a former Olympic medalist. So when it comes to the punches, uh, it might be a rough time. And now Bishop running Showtime into the corner. And there's no sign of Kim since, since he walked to the back. He might be talking to Omega Man after that performance, but he needs to be paying attention to his guys here. As, well, never mind. Oh, big kick to the gut. The bishop is... Oh! Oh, wait, hold on. And Showtime able to break up the pin there. Oh, good lord. 
One member of each is on there. Oh, throws him into the corner. And I guess now it's time for these two to do some work. As he runs him back in the corner, slides through into the German suplex. Holds the pin. One, two. Only a two count, though. As right now, the... the these... these uh, oh, God. He's adept at folding people up. Whoa, wait a minute. What the hell just happened? Oh, my goodness. Oh, we are about to hear from them. The Ego Powers just took an L to... I would, I, I would dare say... I, I like Bishop Stone. Always have. But I would dare say um, Derek Wolf Because he just... He is a suplexing machine. I mean, everything he did, he had a purpose with it. All the way down to that. Oh. God, and Showtime was being handled by Bishop. Here are your winners. Well, I oh, and there will be a one-on-one -on -one match for Derek Wolf next week with an opponent of Ken Washington's choosing. He is pretty pissed off in the headphones right now. All right, well, let's get to the next one. And next we have the King, David Cullum coming to the ring and we're gonna see if he can't get uh, another victory under his belt uh, over Brandon Kravats who has been doing really good this season he's a perfect five well not a perfect but he is 500 at the moment um, former first blood champion uh, multiple accomplishments for him um, and he even beat uh, Devin Harrell so you know that's a big deal in and of itself but now we have David Cullum coming to the ring and this man the following contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from <coughs> Athens, Greece weighing in at 317 pounds and from Athens, Greece David Cullum coming to the ring and if you know I know that he works well, or he might not work well with others. I don't know. All I know is that um, with it, with him in the ring, oh my back itches. I'm sorry. Um, with him in the ring, you know, we, we have to really pay attention to um, his movements because I think that he's trying to create something with people that he faces in the ring. I mean, we'll have to see, but his first test will be against Brandon Crevasse here um, and then it's already been scheduled for next week he will be facing uh, Kojak and his opponent from Newark New Jersey weighing in at 287 pounds the soldier Brandon Curtis Brandon Crevasse coming to the ring um, like I said, we or less, we'll see what he has up his sleeve as far as going up against, uh, well, a former television champion. I mean, he's a champion in his own right here. So, you know, he, uh, huh, it's, you see how much there is to unpack with this? Like, he's been on a roll. The last time we saw Brandon Kravos was when he beat Devin Harrell and came to a perfect not, I keep saying perfect. I don't know why the hell why. Um, came to that 500 record, uh, three and three on the season, um, <clears throat> and uh, David Cullum. Uh, he hasn't had as many matches because he needed a little time off. So uh, we'll see if he can get back on track here. But I mean, this is two big guys going in the ring. But you do have to watch out for uh, Brandon here because Brandon. Um, is one of those who uh, is deceptive with the moves. Like, we've seen him pull off some feats that someone of his height and stature wouldn't normally pull off. He is an NHW, I would dare say original. He's been here, I'm pretty sure, since at least the end of Season 1. Pretty sure. But we'll see what happens now, as there is 
Mr. Cullen, there is Brandon Cravas, and there goes the bell. And he just started off with a slap kick to the gut, a double underhook to end up. Um, sir? Showing his strength. All right, with the suplex. I thought he was going to drop him down with a little pile driver action. What does he do? Oh, trying to make him submit? Yeah, ref in position looking. I mean, you can't call it a pin. He's got him there. Ooh, <clears throat> able to break free. Throwing hands with David Cullum. Gut wrench suplex. And a big knee. And very. Ooh. There's what I was talking about with that deceptive quickness. Holy Jesus. Just a double axe handle that tried to send him away. And look at the power just unloading on him. Now locks him up, throws him into the corner. Big clothesline taking him down. And he is going to the top. Oh, big splash there from from David Cull but he does not go for the pin. And oh, kick to the gut. Oh, we're going to do this again? Oh no. Reverse. Oh, oh, uh oh. Stump puller pile driver. Ooh, drops a knee on his head. Brandon Kovacs is feeling some sort of way. Now has him in there. Oh, nope, that didn't work. It didn't work like he wanted it to at all. That clothesline did, though. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, there he goes again with that. And now going to throw him back into the corner. Oh, kicking the leg meat. Trying to Charlie horse them thighs, them inner thighs. Sits him down. And oh, wow. All right, and into the pin he goes. One, two. Only a two count. And David looks like he might be liking the... Uh... Oh, God, Jesus. What the hell? Okay. Oh, oh, big Uranagi into the pin. Brandon could reach the ropes. He could reach the ropes. Oh, no. He kicked out at two, and he is beside himself. I'm going to fight forever. Woo, that big boot. Now, ooh. Just a shot across the face from David Cullen. Well then, all right, that happened. <laughs> oh, kick to the gut, double underhooks, and has him up in the air again. Just the strength of David Cullen is, I won't say unmatched, because we have people on the roster who could probably match him, but he does have his, uh, Jesus, he's really not playing with him at the moment. Um, sir? Ooh, he drops him down. That neck breaker, he slides into the pin. Ref is in a great position, too. Wow. And David Cullum able to culminate that into a win. All right. <laughs> oh, big win for David Cullen there after that spinning Uranagi. Um, hey, uh, but I mean, like I said, we'll come, we'll see what becomes of this. Will Brandon be one of the people he recruits? Is he trying to recruit people he fights? Who knows? But uh, let's, uh, let's continue on. Oh. And now this is um, CK Nova 
of the forms of execution. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Chase Ventura from Fort Wayne, Indiana, weighing in at 239 pounds. The X Factor, C. K. Noah. And CK Nova in the ring, getting ready to take on one of the Pacific Savages, Omari Anoa'i. Omari Anoa'i. There we go. Ha! Anoa? There's an H instead of an I. But anyway, oh my god, it's just, you know what? From the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 261 pounds, Omar. And, you know, I really do not understand why this game wants... Every time there's an update, it reverts, like, half of the tag teams. Uh, so, it is what it is. Anyway, let's continue on. We got CK Nova. We've got Omar, Omari, and we've got a bell. Let's go. And you know the thorns of execution are looking to get some payback after they got um, beaten down, kind of, at the pay-per-view. Um, I, I have found out that these guys know Jason Parker. Um, and I guess we'll see if there's something else there with that. But, I mean, there could be with um, the Renegades being disbanded and... Cody and Mamato going on his own, trying to get the world title from Jason. It's a, um, whoo. There's a lot of history between those two, and there's a lot in that jab. Big back elbow. Spinning back kick. Oh, he's just going for it now. And now up and just, just throws him like a sack of bricks. And here's my favorite, the everybody knee, because everybody uses that knee. <laughs> ah. Oh, throwing hands. And is Omari not ready for Ooh. All right, going for the pin here, he won. CK Nova thought that he had done enough, but only got the one count there. Took a quick hop up to the top of the road, didn't he? Now that spinning heel kick lands, but he didn't get all of it. Might have hurt himself in the process as he's trying to take out the leg of Omari. He now throws him into the corner, but he's not having any of that. Grab CK. Stump for a pile driver and goes right into the pen. CK gets out of that quickly. Brain still got hurt. Oh, spins him around, grabs the waist. Bulldog action. You, know, you don't see a lot of good bulldogs these days. Oh. Just tosses him. Now with the gut wrench suplex. Good God. <sighs> and then just threw him like he didn't belong. Mm. Just kicked him in the back of the head. And now has him in the, in the rear naked choke. He was lucky enough that his feet got to the bottom rope there. <sighs> he goes for the pin there. Still only a one count. CK is not having any of that nonsense that he's trying to give him. And now goes for the power bomb and stacks him up. One, two, only a two count there. Still able to get free. CK Nova is showing why Cody Yamamoto is after him and put him into his faction. And you gonna have to excuse me. I need to eat something as he's trying to bite his nose off so it looks like he might be a little hungry too but he can't eat what I'm eating. 
<laughs> I'll just put both foot in his neck and then hits him with the Meteora. A little shimmy shimmy just to make sure. And here we go again. The everybody knee has landed. Lifts him up for the ripcord into another knee. Good God, working on that head. And now the Anaconda Vice, a smart move after working on somebody's head like that. Will he submit? My mind's telling me no, and my mind was correct. But into the pin, he slides, hooks the win hard, and we are still at only a two count. And now just stomping him out. Everything, stomping the mud hole and walking it dry. Both men have been giving it up for all this matchup. The bar goes over the rope and Chase moves back like, yeah, he's got this. But you can't get ahead of yourself because that's what happens. He got booted right in the mush. And now just catching the slaps right across the face. Has him hooked up on the outside. Oh, the stump puller pile driver. And woo, he ran him over with a big knee. We are at the count of six here. Count of seven. Count of eight. Is that really what he's going to go for here? No, he goes outside the ring. He said, I'm not taking the victory like that. Could have, though, because he was at the count of nine. Now the count has reset. We're at the count of two. And, oh, my Lord, big chop to the head there. And that sends him over towards Tank. Tank walks away because the ref is clearly looking at him, waiting for some shenanigans to pull off. A lot going on in this matchup. <laughs> CK is busted up. These two are just battling. We're at the count of five again as Amari gets in the ring. CK to follow. Grabs him up. Oh, drops him down hard. Will he go for the pin off of that? Looks like he will. One. Barely a one count. Wow. Now just working on that knee. Ooh, big centaur. <laughs> now trying to pull that arm clear out of place. Mix him up. Now him again with the power bomb and stacks him again. Two. And three. I... Mm, um, I would say that his foot was caught up in the rope, but, uh, hey, what's going on here? Are you trying to show some respect? Wow. That goes a long way. I mean, they did just have a battle, but damn. That's right, you heard correctly. That is, this is for the television title, the fourth defense, if possible, for um, Brandon Ace. And he is defending against um, 
a former junior heavyweight champion here. Uh, well, when the junior heavyweight champion was around. And that's Jacob Banner. And we'll see. Man, that hurt it. We'll see if he can get the championship uh, away from Brandon Ace. Or if Brandon is going to do what he's been doing. And earn his fast track way to the world championship. So far this season, no one has been able to do it. And that's on both Voltage and In Your House. So we'll definitely have to see um, if Brandon is able to get it done here against a former champion in his own right. But Brandon has been on a tear and he is, does not have his manager in his corner again this week. Um, GM rules, you know what I mean. But there he comes, you know the music, you know the man, the the unbeatable right now, and that is Brandon Ace. And here's the thing, if Brandon Ace wins, he can actually keep the TV title if he wants, or, comma, he can turn that championship in and go slap heads with the world title, with the world champion, but, comma, if he does not win the world title, then where does that put him? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, it would definitely be something that we would have to see. Because um, the only time we've seen anybody cash in, they actually won. And that was uh, last season. Uh, when they actually uh, took the TV title for four defenses, went and won the world championship. And, um, I mean, he's not here this season, but... I don't think he's anywhere this season. I don't know if he's retired or what's happening. I just know that that's what happened. And uh, we'll see, you know. <laughs> I'm actually very intrigued by this match. I kind of want to know. Uh, I mean, of course, the people of Baltimore are going to cheer Brandon Ace every time they see him. This is a hometown boy. We're from right here in the land. And uh, let's... Uh, Let's get it popping and see exactly what uh what he can do. Uh, I'm gonna send it down here in just a second to the uh, to the announcer dude with no name and uh, yeah, let him get it cracking and percolating with this title shot. Let's go. Excuse me, that one snuck up on me. Introducing the challenger from Jacksonville, Florida, weighing in at 235 pounds, Jacob Banner. And introducing the champion from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 236 pounds, he is the television champion, Brandon. All right, well, let's see what happens here. Handing over the championship for what could be the last time in multiple ways of saying that. And there it is. This is your main event of the evening. The television title on the line. Jacob. Brandon. Well, here we go. <laughs> Jacob starting off hot with that spin heel kick. Stomping on the leg. Mm, nice moonsault there. Slides into the cover. One, two. Yeah, ooh, busted that knee up. Oh, big as a hurry. Just murdered the side of Jacob Bannon's head. And now, ooh, Brandon Ace. <coughs> Going for Fisherman Brain Buster. 
dumping him down hard. And now gonna throw him over the top rope and grabs him up. Oh no. Oh, shots to the back. Okay, I thought he was about to hit him with that backstabber. Yeah, he is. Ooh. Hit him with the backstabber clean. Now doing a little taunting action. Jacob Bannon not looking too good in this situation. Throws him off the rope and go behind into the snap dragon super. Jesus. Brandon not playing around at this moment. And the slide around and the big kick to the side of the head. Now off the ropes he goes with a big knee. Ooh, watching the face there. And this, I feel like this is Brandon Ace's wheelhouse. Like now that he's gotten uh, some confidence, ooh, from Justice, you know? Uh oh. Oh my lord, just dumps him down hard. And there he goes to taunting. And caught a knee for his troubles. Oh, big kick to the back. God almighty. What is he doing here? Oh, drop kick to the side of the face. <laughs> now working on the fingers. Slides into the pin ref in position. One, two. Only a two count there. And right back on the attack. Lifts him up. Oh, big kick. Go behind. Thrust kick right to the face. Busted him. Wide open. Right in the middle of his forehead. And now, oh, gonna lock him up. Hook him up. Oh, no. He has got him hooked. And he is really wrenching on him. And Jacob Bannon submits. That's only like the third submission of the season. They weren't playing around. No games was played for this match. Woo! Ah, uh, hell. That was a great matchup. I, I mean, Jacob didn't get... Jacob's been in the tag team, so, you know, for him to answer the challenge for the TV title uh, might have been a little out of his league because I think he's set up for TV championship. But this right here, we've never seen this from Brandon before. Normally, he uses that knee to get his victories, but this time he just wrenched back until there was nothing left, and he submitted. Congratulations to Brandon Ace. And now we'll have to see. Still television champion Brandon Ace. And now we'll have to see what Brandon Ace is going to do regarding that championship as far as whether he's going to cash it in and get him a world title shot or whether he's going to keep it and continue to defend. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Good night, everybody. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, you really just letting everybody see it. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, good night, everybody.